to my Introduction to Tuba series on Tuba Thoughts. Um, today we're going to look at the A-flat scale. So before we get started, these are fingerings for a B-flat tuba. Now, if you're starting tuba, there's about a 99% chance that the tuba you have is a B-flat tuba. Um, but if you're not 100% sure, make sure to ask your teachers first. So assuming we have a B-flat tuba, the first note in an A-flat scale is A-flat. Starts at first valve, then we're going to go up to B-flat, which is open. Then we're going to go to C, which is 1 and 3. Then we're going to go up to D-flat, which is different from D if you've already learned it. D-flat is 2 and 3. Then we're going to go up to E-flat, which is 1. Then we're going to go up to F, which is open. From F, we're going to go to G, which is 1 and 2. And then finally, from G, we're going to go up to A-flat, which is first. And then on the way back down, obviously, we go to G. It's 1 and 2. F, which is open. E-flat, which is 1. And again, this is the new note, D flat, which is 2 and 3, and then C, which is 1 and 3, and then B flat, which is open, and finally A flat, which is first valve. Now for the A flat arpeggio, remember any arpeggio is the first, third, fifth, and eighth note of a scale. We're going to start on A flat, which is first valve, then we're going to go to C, which is 1 and 3, then we're going to go to E flat, which is first valve, and then finally A flat which is also first valve. Going back down from A flat, we're gonna go back to E flat, which is again first valve. Then we're gonna go down to C, which is first and third. And then finally, low A flat, which is first valve. Let's hear the scale one more time. So on a four valve tuba, the fingers are a little bit different. Not too much, don't worry. Um, again, these are fingerings for a B flat tuba. If you're not sure if you have a B flat tuba, just make sure to ask your teacher first. So just like before, on a three valve tuba, on an A flat scale, we're gonna start on A flat, which on a four valve tuba is also first valve. Then we're gonna go up to B flat, which is open. And this is where it starts to change a little bit. When we go up to C, instead of hitting one and three, like we would on a three valve tuba, we're gonna use our fourth valve. And then, of course, we go up to our new note, D flat, which is still two and three. Then we go up to E flat, which is first valve. Then from there, we go up to F, which is open. And from F, we go to G, which is one and two. And then from G, finally, we arrive at A flat, which is first valve. Heading back down, we're gonna go back to G, which is one and two. Then down to F, which is open. Then we go down to E flat, which is first valve. Then we return to D flat, which is our new note, second and third. And then we go back to C, which again on a four valve tuba is fourth valve. And then we go down past that to B flat, which is open. And then finally we go to A flat, which is first valve. For the arpeggio, again, the notes are A flat, C, E flat, and then A flat on top. So for low A flat would be first valve. For C, instead of one and three, like we would do on a three valve tuba, we would now use four. So C is four. From C, we're gonna go to E flat, which is first valve. And then we're gonna keep our first valve down for high A flat. And then we come back down to uh, E flat, which is first valve. Then we go down to C, which again is fourth valve. And then finally, low A flat, which is first valve. Let's hear it on the four valve tuba. So that pretty much covers it today for the A-flat scale. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video and you found it useful, I ask that you consider subscribing and following me for more content and giving this video a thumbs up. Uh, I also have a Facebook page, Tube of Thoughts. Go ahead and check that out as well. Um, until next time, everyone, breathe deep and breathe often.